is Inside Heavy, where we're talking heavy metal. Those Who Lie Beneath just released their debut CD on Rise Records in October of 2009. Kyle Rasmussen is the guitarist in the band, and he is with us today to tell us all about the band, the full backstory into the making of the CD, and how they came to be signed with Craig Erickson on Rise Records. Kyle is a very talented guitarist, and you're going to love his work once you hear their music. So stay where you're at. We're coming right back with Kyle Rasmussen from Those Who Lie Beneath. Hey, Inside Heavy has got your gear. We have created a shop where you can buy everything you need to display your favorite heavy metal band on your back. We looking for hats, t-shirts, patches, body jewelry, whatever we got it in our heavy metal gear shop. Powered by Amazon.com. Check it out. We're back with Kyle Rasmussen, guitarist with Those Who Lie Beneath, right here on Inside Heavy. We're joined with Kyle Rasmussen, guitarist from just a, that's a killer band, Those Who Lie Beneath. Kyle, welcome to Inside Heavy. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Give us, give us right off the toss, I guess, give us a little background into your band, where you're coming from, and how you got where you're at now. Well, you know... I've been asked that question a few times, and I always feel bad because I wish we had a really exciting, you know, off-the-wall story about how this all came together, but it's sure. a pretty standard story of, you know, guys that have played in local bands together for over the years, and, uh, you know, our current bands dwindling and falling apart, and we all got together to start one and just started hashing out some songs, and that's pretty much the whole story. Mm-hmm. How we got to where we are <clears throat> was pretty surreal. I mean, we had just dumped $700 into the, probably the worst demo you'd ever hear in your whole life. <laughs> and we were ready to uh, put in press kits together, get in pictures, ready to just grind it out. And then uh, uh, some local friends of ours in a band called American Me mm-hmm. uh, were, were playing a local show, and they wanted us to open for them, and we were happy to. And uh, they are on Rise Records. And unbeknownst to us, Craig Erickson from Rise Records happened to be at the show to see American Me. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had no idea. We played our set. We walked off stage, and uh, Craig approached us and told us he wanted to work with us, and that was that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, can't get much better than that. It was the right place, right time scenario. Absolutely. Did he get a chance to listen to your, your demo, or did you ever put that out? No, he didn't. And this is the funny thing. You know, he listened to it, and he's like, you know, you guys are lucky that you <laughs> that I got to see you guys live because, you know, the, the demo really didn't at all represent mm-hmm. the live show. And that's, you know, as we all know, what's really important in a record sure. is to, uh, you know, translate what you get, the, the energy and the sound of a live show. And mm-hmm. it definitely didn't do that. So yep. it actually took a while for our announcement to happen because he was like, yeah, we need to get a respectable demo track out before, you know, we announce you guys and have the MySpace going. So we were actually working with Rise for months before we got announced. Mm-hmm. So what was the problem with the, with the demo? Was it was it on your guys' side or the producer's side no, or everything? No, it was just, you know, we, we went to, he was great. He was a great uh, recording artist. He just had mm-hmm. absolutely no experience recording metal music, you know, and uh, it was just a learning experience for all of us. And um, it was just the guitars. He just didn't know how to track metal guitars, you know, mm-hmm. and it was just, we didn't play to a click on, <laughs> okay. on the, uh, to a metronome on sure. the demo. Sure. So that was definitely a lesson learned. Never, ever any musicians listening, aspiring musicians, do not ever record a demo without a click track. That is my gem for you. Right. Uh, okay, so then you got signed with Rise Records. Things took off for you. And now here you are. The album's been out since, uh, your CD's been out since what, October? Yep, that's correct. And how have things gone since? Been doing a lot of touring, I guess. Yeah, it's been pretty surreal. Like This whole experience has been really surreal. I mean, we couldn't really ask for anything better. Um it still feels like yesterday we were, you know, sitting in 
our vocalist basement practicing, talking about, you know, Mm -hmm. what we wanted to do and and where these kids are going to be sent off to. But now we have, you know, three months of international touring ahead of us with bands that have had an impact on our own musical career. And it's just, it's nuts. Kids from all over the world messaging us saying that, you know, it's one of the best CDs they've heard in a long time. I, you know, I don't even know where to put all of it. I'm still letting it soak in. (laughs) 